the Z31 has not been worked on in quite a while and it's probably not going to get worked on for a little bit. I'm going to put that one off to the side for a little bit until I can finish fixing uh, this Mustang and this Z32 that we just picked up. So this Z32 was a car that me and Tony picked up from Yuma. This thing was sitting out there. Possibly need the fuel pump. It cranks. Uh, sounds like it has compression. Cranks doesn't start. I think I have a loose ground somewhere. Um, probably the one that goes to the transmission. Um, besides that, the car is, I mean, it's a 2 plus 2. It's manual. It, uh, it's pretty straight. Uh, we're missing the, the gas uh, door. bad about the interior is uh, the driver's seat and the steering wheel everything else is is actually looking pretty nice it just was sitting in, uh, outside and in, in Yuma in like a field and it's like sand out there so all this is like it looks like dust but it's sand it's kind of hard to explain but it's more like sand than than dirt but anyways before we got it here, we uh, stopped at a car wash to pressure wash it. It was way, way dirtier than this. But uh, I'm gonna go through it real quick and see if I can uh, figure out what the problem is. If it, uh, if it's just a maybe a bad fuel pump from sitting for so long, or maybe it has a problem with the spark. Because it looks like I don't know why they did this. They have uh, the PTU uh, relocated on top of the intake. I don't know why they were relocated there. I've never relocated them there, but uh, that's gonna get moved somewhere else. But for now, we're just gonna figure out what, what it is that it needs. So when we got there, we put a battery on it, uh, cranked fine, but you couldn't hear a fuel pump. And I'm thinking that it's probably just, um, a bad fuel pump from been sitting i think it the guy said it sat for like two years on the title it says four years i think like 2016 but uh i mean however long it was sitting it was sitting for a while so i'm gonna guess that it's a fuel pump but we'll see what it ends up being so first thing i'm gonna check over here uh at the fuel pump first on a two-seater the fuel pump's right behind the um, the seats. It's gonna be over here in this area. But this one is a two plus two, and the fuel pump is right here where the spare tire would go. And it's super, super easy to get to. You have um, a few eight millimeter bolts that go around on the outside to hold the pump to the tank. Then you just have these two lines that you take off. And then we gotta connect this big connector here. Hey, what are you doing? What are you doing? Whoa. It's a motorcycle. So anyways, yeah, you can see how it looks like sand. When we went to go pick up this car, I had uh, flip-flops on, I swear. It felt like, like when you're near the beach and you get a sand between your toes, except there's no water and the sand is stupid hot. Anyways, now I gotta try and clean, clean this area a little bit enough so that it, I don't get sand falling into the tank. So I'm gonna try to do that next. Should be able to take it out now, as long as it wants to. There you go. Another one to come apart. And now we'll see. Maybe I could do it with one hand, or maybe not. We'll find out. I was worried about dropping the little bit of sand that was around the around the top of the tank 
on top of the fuel pump into the tank and then I get the fuel pump out and it looks like this what the heck well that doesn't look good well, at least I'm pretty sure that my issue is gonna be here I'm still gonna test the pump but I am pretty sure and the tank is probably gonna be super nasty too that kind of sucks but at least we know where the issue is at and there's some crap right there that you can see but I don't see I don't see too much stuff I mean there's nothing that we can't get out it's really not that bad i mean besides the old ass gas too but i was expecting way worse yeah it's not too bad that can be cleaned that's for sure it's like it's like this thing is ready to fall apart i'm gonna need the whole the whole thing the pump and the the hanger and everything yeah this is bad holy crap Well, kind of hard to get a connection, but we are getting one. We got nothing. I'm just dripping, dripping some gas over here. Nasty smelling gas. All right, since uh, the fuel pump is bad and the the whole hanger thing is bad. I'm gonna have to look for a new hanger and fuel pump and and I guess get that first and then and then uh go back to this back to or clean the tank find a pump install the pump and then uh see what happens see if we uh we have a running z but for today that is going to be it One eternity later. So it's been about three weeks. I finally got a fuel pump assembly. And it's crazy that uh, I couldn't find, find one of these in town. Nobody had the, these for the 2 plus 2, but I mean, finally we got one in. And uh, we can test out to see if this uh, if Z is going to run. Um, the only thing I haven't done, I didn't clean the gas tank, so I'm gonna have to do that first before I try this, so I can put some fresh gas in there. But uh, we'll get to doing that. Anyways, guys, what I mean by me cleaning the tank, all I'm gonna do is get all the old gas out of there, and then uh, you can see those little uh, pieces, all that little crap right there that's in there. I'm gonna try and clean all that up as much as possible. I'm not gonna take the tank out and make it perfect but at least try to clean it up clean it up as much as possible so i got the fuel pump for the z32 i walk over here and then i find this shit the fuck it looked like there was like some rats or some shit in here because i don't remember digging at any of this something was in here Alright guys, so what I'm going to be doing is I got this transfer pump that I brought from work. Um, I'm going to be putting however much gas I can into this uh, container and just dumping it, refilling it, dumping it, refilling it, and then uh, just until I get all the gas out, see if I can clean all the little pieces of crap that are in there, and then I could... Uh, Put the fuel pump on. Add some fresh. So add some fresh gas, and then um, move on to the next step before we start trying to start it. see some crud in there but it's not really i guess it i mean it does look kind of bad but it's not as bad as i thought it was gonna be i thought it was gonna be way worse 
I can maybe wipe most of it down. It just looks like mud. Maybe I'll try and wipe that down. Maybe put some fresh gas in there after I wipe it down and then clean it out again. I just don't really want to take the, pull the tank out just to clean it. But anyways, we'll try and wipe it down and see how that goes. So I was told that, that it ran. Uh, it's been about two years that it's ran. I want to say it's been more just because of how the tank and the fuel pump looked. But we're going to go off of two years. So after we clean up this as much as, as, uh, as I can, I'm going to go to the front and pull out all the plugs, put a little bit of oil uh, in each cylinder because it's, it's going to be dry since it's been sitting for so long. But uh, that'll help it build up some compression when we uh, first crank it up. So... Let's hope everything goes well. I want to keep cleaning this and we'll see how it is once I'm done. I got, more, I got a lot of it cleaned out. There's obviously some crud in there that I just can't get with the towels that I have. But for the most part, if I don't drop this in here. So I'd say that looks a hell of a lot better than what it did. So next thing I'm going to do is uh, probably get some fresh gas, put the pump in, and then go on to the next step. All right, so now I've got some, some fuel in there. It really doesn't look that bad. <laughs> Looks pretty good now. And um, I'm gonna finish putting the fuel pump on and then uh, we'll go on to the engine side of uh, putting a little bit of oil in each cylinder. All right, now the pump is on. There's only two bolts on there for now. Uh, so from what I remember, it's been a little while since I worked on these uh, dual cam VGs, but you just have to take off uh, this crossover pipe to get these uh, the two back coils out, but the rest should come out, no problem. I think they're 12 millimeter bolts and somebody already started it for me. There's a bunch of bolts missing, but uh, yeah, that's what we're going to have to do next. I got all the plugs out and yeah, they look pretty old. Not horrible, but they look a little fouled out. I think the the driver's side looks a little a little worse. Fouled out. I mean well who knows why it was why they were fouled. But um once we get it running, I mean, we'll see if it if it has anything to do with like the fuel stuff or a lot of times it's uh, these things. I don't know why they relocated them right here on top of the intake, but um, all the stuff that has to do with spark could be due to that too, but uh, we'll figure that out uh, as we go. So now that I have all the plugs out, we're going to put um, a little bit of oil in each cylinder, just a little bit up before we crank it. So now everything's put back together. We got oil on the cylinders. Uh, all I need now is the battery. So a battery or the jump box, whichever, but that'll have to be until tomorrow. Uh, Cause I don't have a battery and I don't have a jump box and it is hot as all hell in here. Yeah, it's time to go inside. So we'll be back tomorrow with this to see see what the conclusion is. Maybe we got a running car. Hopefully. Cross fingers. See you tomorrow. Tomorrow for sure. So Chez, my lovely assistant. Chez. Is 
gonna be the one oh. cranking the car. Like, <laughs> I'm gonna hook up this jumper and oh, no, and we're gonna hope that it starts. Oh, All right, let's make sure it's in neutral. We'll see what happens. Just turn the key on first and see if. No? no? You don't hear anything? No. Try and turn the key and see if it doesn't work. No? That was it? Alright. No? Nah? I don't think I'm hearing two of them. Really? Uh, go back there when I turn the key and Alright. Did it? Nope. No sound from the cell phone? No, try and crank it and see if I feel, if I feel it. Okay. Probably. Alright, hold on. I'm gonna, I'm gonna um, undo one of these intake pipes and see if we spray it. Yeah. <laughs> Dang, just tried too hard. The inner one was off. Okay. Second attempt. Oh. Yeah. Yes, like it's like two like two gallons. Okay. Uh, open the throttle or hit the throttle real quick. Uh, All right. Nothing. Nothing. Uh, you think there could be the lines could be dirty though too? Yeah, but it should have started with that. Ooh, I don't have that filter or ether, huh? Starter fluid here. Oh yeah, I know that, but it should have started with that, so we probably have a no spark. Well, he doesn't have no fuel because the pump's not kicking out. Yeah, but with this, if sure. there's spark, then no, oh, all you gotta do is pull plug out. Go uh, for it. Uh, I don't think I have. Uh, Can you? I don't have any tools. I took them back. I took them back to the shop. Well then, all right. Uh, hit the the throttle. All right, let's go again. did spray quite a bit of, yeah. of starting fluid it in there. It like it was starting to build too. Like, yeah, you know, like the RPM was starting to go yeah. up. Well, there you go. It runs. Well, it runs. <laughs> and now the neighbors probably hate me. Go for it. Yeah? 15? I can see it. Change that damn well, belt. <laughs> mm, or just tighten it or something. Whew. It still smells like that shitty gas though. You don't smell it? Yeah. I'm gonna have to get some more gas. It smells like just pulled everything. Yeah. I'm gonna have to take it outside. But it runs. It does. I'm, I'm kind of confused though because the pump's supposed to be a little loud. If it's a wall, Two fifty-five. You would be able. To, you should be able to hear it. Like you could hear it. That was the one that was really. You know what? We have a shitload of um, fuel filters that I somebody left behind. Oh, you remember that? Yeah. That somebody left behind. Oh, so. that's on this one. Remember Tony drew the. Oh, that's on. right. <laughs> so we could bring another fuel filter because it's probably all jacked up from 
the crap that was in the tank. True. Originally. Lines, whatever. Yeah. I'm happy it runs though. The trip to Yuma was uh, maybe worth it. Now it's sort of worth sort it. Of worth it. <laughs> <laughs> so she runs, guys. That is a huge sigh of relief. Everyone was like starting to freak out, thinking that it wasn't gonna run. But uh, originally, so originally the fuel pump, fuel pump was bad. We got another fuel pump. Um, put oil in the cylinders to uh, lubricate it before we started cranking it. I got the jumper hooked up to it. Uh, cranked fine, but then uh, we still weren't getting anything. It kind of sounded like it wanted to start, but it still wouldn't start. Uh, I sprayed some brake cleaner, which is like starting fluid into the intake. Um, it still wouldn't start. So I checked for spark. I didn't record that though. Uh, but I checked for spark um, at the coil and we didn't have spark. So then I looked at all this crap right here and I was starting to remember how these things were like notorious for the stupid connectors to just like pop off. And of course right now when I wanna do it, oh there it is. But they just pop off of the clips that hold them in would always break. So, which one was, I think it was this guy right here. This one was like halfway on and this one just like slipped off as soon as I moved it. So those weren't connected correctly. That's why we had no spark. Then tried it again, sprayed starting fluid into the intake again and it started. And I mean, I sprayed quite a bit in there but I didn't spray enough for it to stay running the way that it did. So I'm, I'm gonna assume that the fuel pump's working Maybe I just need to put another fuel filter on. And I have a bunch of them at the shop that whoever was there before left behind that I'm, I'm sure work for this. So it runs. I'm just happy that it runs. Uh, probably the next video, I'm going to take it outside and let it run because it got real smoky in, in here in the garage. Another thing I forgot to mention is that uh, I don't know if I did mention, but uh, it has headers, but that's it. I don't know if we could see that. It has headers and then that's it. That's where the exhaust ends. So besides that, it has no exhaust. So that's something else we're going to have to get for this car. But that's why I'd rather move it outside and let it run outside. Um, and do it during the day so that my neighbors don't hate me that bad they're probably still gonna get annoyed that this car is super loud anyways that's gonna be it for this video guys uh hope you guys enjoyed it and uh maybe we'll see some more of this car in the future anyways that's gonna be it peace mm -hmm.